A simple meaning of defect is something wrong or something which is not acceptable in a product. It means imperfection in terms of quality, function or in terms of visual aspects. Defects are present everywhere. But have you ever seen any defects in welding and welding joints? These defects are sometimes visible, sometimes invisible. So in this video, we are going to learn about welding defects and its various types. Hello everyone, welcome to Code Screen. In this video, we are going to discuss about basic concepts of welding defects. But before going to start, subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it. If you like the video, press the like button, press the bell icon so you will get all the notifications about the channel's activity and you can share this video with your friends and your known people. So let's start the discussion of welding defects. So I will start with the basic introduction of welding defects. So mainly welding defects are considered as the irregularities and imperfection in the weld metal due to wrong welding process or due to wrong welding pattern. So the imperfection happens during the welding process in the weld metals are considered as the welding defects. If the weld metal does not fall under the acceptance standard, for example, shape and size differs, there is an inadequate quality, there is imperfection in visual aspects. So these are considered as the welding defects. Welding defects may occur inside and outside the weld metal and the welding defect can be two dimensional and three dimensional. There are various reasons for the occurrence of welding defects during the welding process. And here I'm going to discuss few reasons for the occurrence of welding defects. And the first reason is unskilled worker or less experienced worker. If the worker is not skilled or unskilled or if he is not having proper experience in welding, so the chances of occurrence of welding defects can increase. The second reason is improper base metal composition. So the chances of occurrence of welding defects can increase because of improper base metal composition if the base metal composition is not proper. The third is defecting Defective welding filler metal. If the welding filler metal is defective, so it can affect the welding process and that can create welding defects. Next is improper joint design. If the joint design is not proper or the parts are not placed properly or the angle is not defined or these conditions we can consider under improper joint design. So this is one of the reason for the welding defects. Next is improper welding process characteristics. So we have to define the proper characteristics during the welding process. If the welding process characteristics are not proper, it can create welding defects. And another point is wrong procedure. If the procedure followed by the worker is not proper or not right, so that can create welding defects. And next is welding environment. If the environment is not suitable for welding like temperature, moisture, wind, etc. So that can create welding defects. So these are the few reasons for the occurrence of welding defects. Now let's see what are the various types of defects we consider in welding or in welding joints. So it is divided into three parts. So the first part is considered as geometric defects. So in geometric defect, we consider undercut, distortion, excessive penetration, improper weld profile and underfill. So these are the geometric defects we consider in the weld joint. Now the second type of defect is metallurgical defects. So in metallurgical defects, we define or these metallurgical defects are defined as crack, porosity, arc strikes, embrittlement, and, and structural notches. So these are these types of defects are considered as the metallurgical defects. And the third type of defect we can define as the defect involving inadequate bonding. So the inadequate bonding we considered as a defect in welding joints. In this category, we consider lack of fusion, incomplete penetration once again, foreign inclusion, slag, oxide film, and tungsten inclusion 
as the defect in the welding joint. So these are the points or these are the defects we considered in welding or in welding joints. As I have said, welding defects can be two-dimensional and three-dimensional. So let's discuss about this 2D and 3D defects. So 2D defects or two-dimensional defects are called as planar defects. For example, we can say cracks, lack of fusion, lack of penetration, etc. are considered as two-dimensional defects. And these defects cannot be tolerated or acceptable in any case or in any environment like heat, pressure, etc. So, the defects which are not acceptable are considered as two-dimensional defects. Some defects we can accept but at some extent. Now we talk about three dimensional defects. So it is also called voluminar defects and these 3D defects are mainly considered because of slag inclusion, cavities, pores or porosity etc. And three dimensional defects are mainly considerable. Most of the three dimensional defects are considerable at some extent and it depends on the quality requirement. Some defects which are acceptable at some extent are considered as excess or excessive reinforcement, underfill, root concavity, sharp notches, etc. Most of the defects are not acceptable, but some defects are acceptable at some extent. So, this is all about the welding defects, two-dimensional and three-dimensional welding defects. So, this video was about the basic introduction of welding defects. So, I have discussed the basic introduction of welding defects, different reason for the occurrence of welding defects and different types of defects. In next video, I will give you complete description of each and every defects or each and every welding defects for your better understanding. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, Press the like button. If you have not subscribed the channel, subscribe it immediately and you can share this video with your friends and your known people for their betterment. So stay tuned with us for more videos. Thank you so much. See you in next class.